was that? Yeah, that was my first reaction when I first saw this teaser thing. Hello, I'm Trevor Alonzo, and this is my reaction to the Birds of Prey teaser. I'm sorry, it's titled Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Could they get a longer title? Okay, I'm gonna keep this really short, because this is obviously just like a costume test, and they posted it online. I'm not liking the costumes. It's not looking good that good right now i mean maybe the movie would be good it looks like they're going for a certain style but no one really looks like what they do in the comics like we go from aquaman that's very comic accurate and does really well and now we're going to get something that doesn't look anything like the costumes i mean i get flashy costumes don't exactly translate to the screen well or you can change the costume but Looks like everyone's just wearing regular clothes and they're going to be like in name only or like sort of that character but not really. Like the girl that's going to be Batgirl, when I first saw it I was like, who's this? And it didn't make me think, oh, well she's going to end up being Batgirl in one day. I get this is supposed to be pre-Batgirl but if she's starting to fight crime, doesn't that make her at the point where she is Batgirl? And especially if she's in the Birds of Prey. You know, Victor Zaz, he's in Batman Begins for like three minutes. Looks pretty much exactly like he does in the comics. And they got it more right in that than this. Here, he doesn't have any scars of tally marks of what he kills. Like, every time he makes a kill, he puts a tally mark on his skin. I don't know if, like, we're gonna get a scene where he takes off his shirt and he has a bunch of tally marks. And it's like, okay, but... You know, he's also bald in the comics, so great, this isn't gonna... They're, they're going for... I don't know what they're going for. You know, Harley Quinn in this, to me, she looks like a drunk party girl. She, she looks like a rave girl. Then again, she kind of looked like a rave girl in the last movie. And it seems like we're getting a lot of Harley Quinn projects. We're getting Suicide Squad 2. She may or may not be in it because there's a rumor that she's not in it. We're getting a Harley Quinn vs. Joker movie. We're getting a Gotham City Sirens movie. We're getting a solo Harley Quinn movie. And then, of course, we're getting this movie, Birds of Prey. That's five different Harley Quinn movies. Or movies with Harley Quinn in it. And we still have no word whether or not Batman and Superman are ever going to show up in another movie again. We know Batman's going to happen. Or The Batman. Or they might change the title because there's a rumor to change the title now. But... You know, we're not getting some of these core heroes, but yet they're like, All right, give us more Harley Quinn, more Harley Quinn. And Black Mask, he's not wearing a black mask. His name is Black Mask. Are they just going to go by, you know, is this supposed to be before he gets a mask? Or is this like a screen test of the costume, you know, his clothes without the mask? You know, I'm giving this movie a chance because it might actually be good. But right now, everything doesn't look like it, anything near a comic book costume or superhero. I get they need to change the costumes from the comics to the movie. But this almost looks like a TV movie where they're like, okay, it's going to be in name only. And I can't help but think of the Birds of Prey TV series. And they had segments where it was Batgirl, Batman, and Joker in their whole costumes. But for the rest of the show, they were not in costume. Huntress was like wearing black leather and a trench coat. And I and she never had a crossbow. And they also gave her weird superpowers. Alright, so I'll, I'll try to give this movie a chance. Let's see how it goes. Who knows, maybe down the line to have like this whole segment where they actually show costumes. Maybe Black Mask puts on a mask later on. Maybe Victor Zaz starts scarring himself up in this movie. Who knows? I hope it's not like the G.I. Joe movie where Cobra Commander and Destro don't look like Cobra Commander and Destro until the last minute. That was really lame. Okay, so tell me in the comment sections what you think. Thank you for watching my video.